Well, we have to help those countries where people arrive first and which have huge problems in coping with that challenge. We have to help the countries that uh, are countries of transit, where people are producing a huge burden on the local population and economy, and these uh, countries are partly overburdened. Thirdly, of course, we are seeing the situation in the countries of arrival or destination, where in, in Germany, one million, more than one million people have arrived in, in Sweden, 200,000. Uh, similar figures uh, proportionally to other countries, and their huge investment needs are uh, necessary in order for, for housing, for education, for healthcare, and all these things. Also, with a clear perception of avoiding uh, bad integration or non integration, we have to try to speed up the integration process, both from the labor market side and also from the uh, point of view of uh, granting uh, access to the labor market. Uh, making uh, gra graduation diplomas uh, compatible and, or comparable at least, and all these things that must be done quickly because otherwise people are stuck for one, two, three, four years. Mm -hmm. And of course, education must be organized. We have so many children that need uh, immediate education. Having said all this, we still have to see what's the situation in the countries of origin and what when can we do in order to give the people a perspective. Now, we will not be able to solve the, the Syria war, unfortunately. But in the neighboring countries, where the population is doing a fantastic job in order to give these places, a, these people a safe place, lead them to education, lead them to healthcare, and all these things, mm -hmm. huge investments are needed. And we are very, very active there, whether it's a water supply, clean water supply in the north of Lebanon, whether it's hospitals in Jordan, or activities in the infrastructure field and education field in Turkey.